Good afternoon, Open Door Church. Andy here with today's daily devotion. And uh, we're going to take a little bit of a, a change now and look at a passage in 2 Kings. And we're looking at 2 Kings chapter 6. So I'm going to read from verse 8. And the king of Aram was at war with Israel. After conferring with his officers, he said, I will set up my camp in such and such a place. The man of God sent word to the king of Israel. Beware passing that place, because the Arameans are going down there. So the king of Israel checked on the place indicated by the man of God. Time and again, Elisha warned the king, so that he was on his guard in such places. This enraged the king of Aram. He summoned his officers and demanded of them, Tell me which of us is on the side of the king of Israel. None of us, my lord, the king, said one of the officers, but Elisha the prophet who is in Israel, Tells the king of Israel the very word you speak in your bedroom. Go out and find where he is, the king ordered, so that I can send men and capture him. The report came back, he's in Dothan. Then he sent horses and chariots and a strong force there. They went by night and surrounded the city. When the servant of the man of God got up and went out early in the next morning, an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh no, my lord! What shall we do? the servant asked. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed, open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. As the enemy came down towards him, Elisha prayed to the Lord, strike this army with blindness. So he struck them with blindness, as Elisha had asked. Elisha told them, This is not the road, and this is not the city. Follow me, and I will lead you to the man you are looking for. And he led them to Samaria. After they entered the city, Elisha said, Lord, open the eyes of these men, so that they can see. Then the Lord opened their eyes, and he, they looked, and there they were inside Samaria. When the king of Israel saw them, he asked Elisha, Shall I kill them, my father? Shall I kill them? Don't kill them, he answered. Would you kill those you captured with your own sword or bow? Set food and water before them, that they may eat and drink, and they go back to their master. So he prepared a great feast for them, and after they'd finished eating and drinking, he sent them away, and they returned to their master. So the bands from Aram stopped raiding Israel's territory. It's a bit of an odd reading. Why would you come up with this for a daily devotional? Well, let me tell you why. I think we're at a time when we can believe that actually God is outnumbered. What's going on in our world is too big. There are so many situations that are worrying us right now. The overarching one would be, of course, the pandemic that we're facing as a nation and as a world. And the rising uh, cases of coronavirus in the UK, up to over 7,000, the highest number recorded in one day. And that can fill us with such fear. We also have the situation that's going on with the in, in the United States. We look at the presidential elections last night and some candidates and whether we like or dislike, maybe making us anxious of what's going on in our world. The rise in China and uh, the plight of the South China Sea, maybe the threat of what's going on in Hong Kong, the war with China in India, China in the Mongolia, China with Taiwan, seems to be China threatening everywhere. We're in a world that is incredibly insecure. The economies of the Western nations, our own Brexit from the EU, can fill us with such dread and personal fear. But you know, there's no need for fear if you're in the Lord, because the Lord is always in control. Our God is always in control. That's what the situation here with Elisha teaches us. Elisha needed his servant to see that the Lord has everything under control. And even this army that was surrounding a city, actually, God could deliver them. God has far more resources, far more angels at his mercy, far more and more powerful weapons at his fingertips, because he is our God who is in control of everything. Every government sits upon his shoulder. Every situation is under his control. And it is allowed to be because our God allows things to happen for our own good. Even sometimes those things aren't great. 
things that we find very hard, even financial loss or uh, illness or other things. But in that, God works all things together for his good and he's in control of all things. Uh, just see that verse there, verse 16 of 2 Kings chapter 6. It says, don't be afraid, the prophet answers. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And church, I just want us to be encouraged in this, that the, the Lord is with us. And when he's with us, we outnumber any situation that we face. Whether there's situations of ill health, whether there's situations with our family and relationships, whether that's work situations that are causing us much worry and anxiety, or the larger, bigger scale anxieties that are being generated because of the situation we're in today. The Lord is with us. And he is on our side. And therefore, we don't need to fear. We need to have the same eyes that Elisha had. You see, the prophet's assistant saw eyes of flesh. But Elisha saw with eyes of the spirit. Do you remember that verse? It says, not by might, not by power, but by uh, his spirit, says the Lord Almighty. By my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. It's by the Holy Spirit and understand that God is with us in every situation that we can see through the natural into the supernatural and have confidence and boldness and courageous faith in every situation. Whatever you're facing, whatever situation you're coming across today or in the days ahead, you can have the boldness of knowing that God has the resources uh, to help you in your time of need but also he's the conqueror he's the winner you read the book of revelation and uh, i don't know it's a bit of a spoiler alert here but the spoiler alert is jesus returns and he wraps up time history and every ounce of evil and he controls and rules all things and uh, and he is in control he even the, the father god even dictates the day which jesus comes again to make this all happen so today trust Trust and obey, have eyes of faith, not eyes of flesh, and trust the Lord. Whatever situation you're facing, you can trust him because he's a good, good father. That's who he is. That is who he is. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for your word. Thank you that, Lord, out of situations that have happened on this earth before, Lord, through men like Elisha, who was your uh, prophet, Lord, we can learn that we can trust you in every situation so right now we trust you as open door church we trust you for today we have open our eyes of flesh and we'll, we want to say we want to see with eyes of the holy spirit eyes of faith knowing that you're in control that you're the sovereign lord and you can break through in every situation so we thank you lord thank you for your goodness to us and lord encourage us fill us with your spirit help us to always look to you in every situation for you are good Lord, you're wonderful. You are fabulous. You're the best. You're amazing. You're beyond our comprehension. Lord, we trust you now and we look with eyes of faith to all that you're going to do in us and through us in the days ahead as you build your kingdom through this local church and in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.